Hi, today I'm going to share my experience with my newest and favorite kitchen toy, my Cuisinart Compact Air Fryer. I've been using it almost every other day for about a month. It's a real lifesaver these days when I cook two to three meals a day. I love the stainless steel in the simple design. Two knobs, one for temperature and one mechanical timer. A light to indicate when the machine is on, when the door opens, it stops heating, when the door closes, it resumes heating, and this is how you turn it off. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. There's the heating unit and fan on the top. There's no heat source at the bottom. Here's what also came inside the box. The manual, which I have read. A piece of paper about product registration. And the pretty handy quick reference guide for when you're just starting out. I'm taking measurements of the frying basket for your information. It measures about 10.7 inches long. And about 8.7 inches wide. And a little less than 1.5 inches deep. I actually bought extra racks from Amazon. As you can see, it's a little longer than the drip pan in the frying basket, but it still fits quite nicely. Now let's try it out first with some bacon. First, I'm covering the drip pan with some aluminum foil. We want to make sure that the foil sticks tightly to the bottom and the corners. So that when you put the basket on, the legs don't poke holes. Pulling up the quick reference guide. The recommendation is 8 slices at 400 degrees 8 to 10 minutes. Since I only have 3 slices here, I'm gonna go with 400 at 8 minutes. With this air fryer, it is impossible to get to the exact time and temperature. But it's not an issue for me because I love checking in on my food often. And the time and temperature you find in any recipes are usually just approximates anyway. Now let's try some extra thick bacon. Just kidding, these are marinated short ribs or Korean kelpies. Since I just burned my previous batch with 20 minutes at 425 degrees, I'm going to set it at just 15 minutes this time. The timer is still running, but I'm checking just to make sure nothing gets burned again. These look perfect! Cut evenly on both sides, slightly brown on the outside but juicy and tender inside. Finally, I'm going to let you in on my little secret about cleaning. The product description everywhere says that the drip pan and the frying basket are not dishwasher safe. But I want to let you know that you can most definitely throw the frying basket in the dishwasher. I've done it numerous times and the basket still looks good as new. After all, it's stainless steel and I really don't see why it shouldn't be dishwasher safe. My dishwasher also does a very good job at cleaning it.
On the other hand, it's true that the drip pan is not dishwasher safe. This went inside the dishwasher and has been flaky ever since. There's more cleaning to be done. Since most of the internal space is non-stick coated, you can easily wipe most of it down with a cloth wet with warm water and no cleaning agent. Be sure to wait at least 20 minutes or so because the coils can still be hot. Unfortunately, there are a few places that are really hard to get to, such as under the door, this little window-like space, the small gaps between the sides and the bottom, and finally the top. Since the top is hard to see, I sort of left it alone for a few weeks before realizing how dirty it's become. The coils also make the top very hard to reach. At this point, it's impossible for me to get rid of the oil splatters and stains even with the sponge and soapy water. Please leave me a comment below if you do know how to clean this. In conclusion, here's what I really like about my air fryer. 1. I really like how it looks on the countertop. 2. Cuisinart is a reputable brand so I know there's a number to call if something goes wrong. 3. The stainless steel frying basket makes me feel safer compared to ones that are Teflon coated. It also seems more durable. 4. The capacity is impressive. However, that said, the vertical space is limited so you cannot air fry a whole chicken in there. 5. I love that food is cooked in half the time it used to take my old toaster oven. I also don't cook much with my built-in convection oven nowadays because I can be done cooking with my air fryer with the time the big oven takes to preheat. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, with enough oil, this air fryer is no doubt powerful enough to give any food the desired frying effect. Now, onto a few things I don't really like about it. First, again, the limited vertical space. Food that's taller than the top of the basket gets burned quite easily. Second, I think if there were heating source at the bottom, some of the flipping and preheating may be avoided. Three, a light in the oven would make checking in on the food easier. Four and five are just me not being very happy about all the interior space that needs to be wiped down. All in all, my biggest complaint is about cleaning the interior space but I'm still happy about my purchase. After all, it really is a huge step up from my old non-convection toaster oven. However, I would not recommend it to anyone who likes their appliances sparkling clean inside and out, or if you don't have a dishwasher to clean the frying basket. That's it, I'll be making more cooking videos with my air fryer. If this review is helpful to you, please like and subscribe.